did you know that people can get freedom from the poverty mentality? Oh, yeah. You know, that is a spirit. You know, a lot of people think it's about demons. Let me say right up front, deliverance, demons are not the problem. The problem is the internal brokenness, the soul ties, the connections with darkness. In the spirit realm, everything has a cost and effect. You may not know it, but the Lord knows it and the devil knows it. Welcome, everybody. It's Steve K from Cash Your Nets Ministries. Welcome to another episode of Wealth Transfer TV. And today, I've got some friends and some special guests that are going to be talking about getting freed up, having freedom. They're Dr. Ernie and Sylvia Suave. They have a freedom manual. It's the deliverance and inner healing from start to finish. Don't they, don't go away. I, as soon as you said deliverance. You got to hear this, man. I'm talking about before the before they got on. I said, you mean people can read this and they'll get self delivered. And if if you think yeah, this is not for you, it probably is. You know, I'm looking forward to reading the manual and getting even more freed up than I already am. Welcome, Ernie and Sylvia. How are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing great, Steve. It's great to see you again and to participate in, in another video with you guys. We love you. We love what you're doing. Blessings. And Steve, you did, did you know that people can get freedom from the poverty mentality? Oh, yeah. You know, that is a spirit. That is a spirit. Yes. You know, so, Steve, so it is. It, this is about that as well. You grow up thinking that you're, you're poor, you are more humble if you're poor, and then you're more spiritual if you're poor. That is so. a spirit of poverty it's that a, needs to lie, be a lie of the enemy. broken. I'm, not, I'm gonna let you preach, sister. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's yeah, like, get out of the way. Let me tell. Let me tell some people. Got it. I, I, I want to say you. something. So, you know, another thing about deliverance in general, Steve. You know, a lot of people think it's about demons. Let me say right up front, deliverance. Uh, 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 demons are not the problem. The problem is the internal brokenness, the 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 soul ties, the connections with darkness, and those things. Once they're resolved by repenting and renouncing a lifestyle, you know, demons flee. So it's it's not demon focused. It's about it's Christ focused, and the focus is also about your per, your particular purpose and calling for your life in in the Lord. Okay, and I want to mention, um, based on what Sylvia said. In my book, Deliverance on Purpose, Power Principles and Unlock Your Destiny, at the end, I have a section on convergence. Deliverance and inner healing sets the platform so that people can grow to the place where everything about them, their experience, their 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 studies, their work, their passions and finances all come together to to produce a power pack scenario to do kingdom ventures. Okay, because that's what God wants. That's what God wants. See, the Bible says that your gift will make a way, right? So your gift. So the devil is after your gift. Okay, so when you go through deliverance, then you get free to make your gift flourish. That takes you into convergence, and then the wealth transfer happens. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. So I, I, I'm. We're getting all excited here. Yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> uh, and because. 
for me, this is this is foundational to being able to even receive or position yourself to receive wealth. As you alluded to, if you're dealing with some type of internal, um, what did you say? In, internal brokenness. Yeah. If yeah. there is um, trauma. It, yeah, of course, trauma and from betrayal or, or being yes, stolen abandonment. from abandonment. Uh, you're dealing with this poverty mindset. If you do not handle this, this is the thing that is stopping you from manifesting the fullness of what God has called you to do. That's right. right. And so this is foundational. And this poverty mentality, I want to go back to what you said, this poverty mindset. Most people don't even realize they have it. And I've seen people who have a lot of money still have a poverty mentality. Mm -hmm. And I would like for you to give us, lay the foundational groundwork. What is a poverty mindset and how can I identify that I've got it? That is a great, that is a great question, Steve. Listen, when the, the experience that you have growing up, Okay, that really counts because your mind is set in a way that reflects the habits of your parents. Okay, so when you grow in a in a house where everything is, oh no, 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 we cannot do this. We don't have money. We cannot do this. We don't have money. Then your mind is trained in that way. And then when you go through deliverance, then you know that God is your shepherd and you shall not want, right? So it is it is a matter of renewing of your mind at the same time that you cast out that devil of your life. Because, because of the way that you grew up, the door was open. Remember, when you start speaking, you, the power of your tongue, it is powerful. What you say will create or will destroy. That's what the Bible says. So okay. when you agree, that's what we, we, we train people. When you agree with darkness, okay, when you agree with what the devil is saying, you are setting up yourself for failure. But guess what? There is hope in Jesus because the same way that you agree with darkness, you can break that of your life and then agree with Jesus, that is the light, with Jesus, that is the truth, with Jesus, that is the way, and he wants you to prosper as your soul prospers. That's what the word says. It sounds like our, our agreement or our mindset was already given to us and we kind of just took over that role, not realizing that we could choose to have the mind of Christ. It, you're referring to Romans one and two, like you were saying, renewing of the mind. And that is thinking what, what in the place of a, that it's an abundance. We have more than enough. Everything is, is that the difference? The difference is that when, when the truth of the word of God, resides in your mind, in your heart, and you start living according to that truth, new things start happening. New things, the kingdom culture starts to be applied in your life. Mm -hmm. And in the kingdom, there is no poverty. Now, when you are dealing with generational curses, that's a different story, Steve. We had a case of this lady, very smart, okay? And she said that every time that she started a new business, for a time it flourished, but then it, she went bankrupt. You know, it's like, what, what's, what's going on? Like up and down, up and down, up and down. So when we sat with her and took her through this deliverance process, then she understood that her dad, listen to this, her dad was um, alcoholic, okay? So every Friday, he, uh, they live in New York at that time. Every Friday that he would left the bar drunk, he would get home, but in the way he was hitting many cars, many cars, okay? So what happened is that he never paid any of those people for the damage that he caused. Guess what? Guess who was paying for that? She was paying for that. 
in the spirit realm, everything has a cause and effect. You may not know it, but the Lord knows it and the devil knows it. Why? Because if you were causing the harm to other people and then you did not redeem that in any way, shape or form, the devil has a legal right to rob from you. Okay, so what did we do with her? She repented on behalf of her father. You know, Father uh, Father God, please forgive me. I, I aligned with this darkness with, with my father. And then she broke all that over her, over her life, over her business. And guess what? The following year was amazing for her. She's flourishing like never before in her life. You know, so there are many things. And that's why we have this freedom manual, because there are many angles that, that, that people, you know, can be in trouble and get out of trouble. That's one of the keys I just... I just saw is using this example, and, and I can see it in, in my own life and in others' lives. But if you're doing, if you've got the gifting and you've got the it all together, I guess, like this lady did, and you just keep finding yourself going through these same patterns, not yeah. intentionally, right? It's just, well, it always happens, right? Like if you set, find yourself saying, this always happens to me, this is always how it ends, there's a good chance. You may need to, be to you may need to go through this type of deliverance, isn't there? That is true. That is correct. Because this is something that's outside. I mean, if you're doing the best you can and you find yourself in these positions, you know, uh, of loss or failure. What uh, failure is a strange word, but loss, uh, lack, right. uh, following the same cycle over and over. If you find a pattern, there's a good chance you have to go through this type of deliverance. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And and Steve, you know, you mentioned we're mentioning poverty. This is very spontaneous what we're doing here. And uh, I can only assume that the Holy Spirit is behind this. I wanted to mention out directly out of the manual, page 74, we go over some some big uh, some big strongholds. OK, this is the stronghold of poverty. Each stronghold has attitudes and mindsets and then expressions and manifestations. So I wanted to read directly out of the manual some of the descriptions some thought processes and feelings and, and manifestations of this just for a moment, okay? Um, uh, a person with um, the stronghold of poverty will, will sense inferiority, low self-esteem, fatherlessness will be in their life. Uh, that person doesn't care too much about long-term effect of their particular lifestyle. They're seeking peer approval over making wise decisions. There's a foolishness in decision making and conforms to circumstances, rejects opportunities for self-improvement and financial progress, prefers temporal pleasure over hard work that opens up a better future, embraces socialism, communism, and has an, an entitlement mentality. There's a generational curse of poverty and ignorance. There's depression and hopelessness. Um, there's a seemingly an endless cycle of personal and family misery and destitution. Preference to embrace the lies of the enemy instead of acting upon the opportunities for personal advancement. Rejection, abuse, abandonment, fathers. There's, we could go on for a little bit more here, but uh, I, I wanted to mention that. And some of the spirits, demonic spirits associated with this stronghold. We're talking about anger, spirit of jealousy, laziness, boredom, rejection, apathy, trauma, fear, ignorance, bondage, addiction, shame, blindness, dis depression, misery. Those are just some of the spirits associated with this stronghold that we might in, in a particular case deal with specifically. I, I, was, I just want to make sure the people listening, I, I know you saw, you heard yourself in there. I, I, I know you heard yourself in there. How, how do you deal with this? So, so you, you, let's say we just read your book. We, we, uh, let's say we're hearing this video. We, we don't have your book yet, but let's say someone Read, is there on page 74 and they read this stronghold of poverty and they're like, and they're just checking off the boxes. Like, yep. 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 Oh yeah. That, that's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. Uh, what do they do now? What, like, do, they, do they, do they surrender? Do, do they panic? Do they go to a bar? Like, what do they do? 
Yeah. Well, this this what we're reading here in the strongholds is a little bit farther down the road in the actual process. There is a process. OK. And and once again, when it comes to deliverance and inner healing, we're not trying to see demons everywhere. We're, we're trying to bring truth, the truth of the word of God applied in specific areas. OK, so there there is a bit of a process. And speaking of process, when a person uh, feels like they need help in whatever area of their life, we have a very um, long confidential questionnaire and we spend a lot of time speaking. And, and the person comes to us and opens their heart and their lives. And and we see with the Holy Spirit's discernment, we hear with Holy Spirit discernment, and we're able to connect dots, the past with the present, their 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 trauma or their situations or their ancestral situations. We connect the dots and, and apply specifically the Word of God to those areas. A person with a stronghold is usually... Uh, to, to a large degree, unaware of its presence. And that's why we wrote specifically expressions and manifestations. All right. So let's go into this manual. Yes, yeah, Steve, Steve, I, I, I have the, the answer for you. You said, what do they do exactly? Okay. They discover that they're dealing with that stronghold of poverty in page 74. Okay. Now in page 53, Okay, in page 53 of the manual, there is a general process to deal with each one of those strongholds because the strongholds are very, very um, condensed here. Okay, you have uh, the stronghold of error, you have the stronghold of death and destruction, you have the deaf and dumb, these people that whatever you say, they don't understand, but it, that is a spirit operating in their life. Okay, bondage, addiction, jealousy, there is a, there is a list of very extensive and condensed list at the same time. But there is a general prayer for that in page 53, that includes repentance, what Ernie just said, includes renouncing all those things because see, you have to, to break that that agreement with darkness. So you have to renounce to that. All that the way, is, I want to make sure we're clear. When you say break that, you're not talking about using a hammer. You're talking about using your words because life and death is the power of the tongue, like you said earlier. That's it. Correct. Everything you do, you do it with your mouth. You ask for forgiveness with your mouth. You renounce with your mouth. You break. When you say, I break the effects of that poverty mentality over my life in Jesus' name, you do it with your mouth, okay? And then when you replace, Father, I thank you because you are my my shepherd. You are my provider. You are Jehovah Jireh. You know, everything is through your mouth. It's, that's why this, um, this uh, manual is full of prayers, prayers, prayer. And that you we always recommend that people do it out loud. Yep. Great. So they're going to be reading these prayers out loud. Here's the freedom manual. And, and mm -hmm. that's when we're talking about page 53 for the, this prayer. It's in here. We're talking about 74, about the stronghold of poverty. It's in here. Tell me about this. This is this a Bible study? Is this something for, first of all, is this for someone who knows Jesus or not? Can someone who doesn't believe take this? Um, it, no, really, we're dealing with people who do know the word, they do know Jesus, and they have some at least general knowledge of um, of the effects of Jesus' death on the cross of Calvary and the shed blood of Jesus. So there is definitely, this is not a Bible study. This is um, very, very practical, uh, assuming uh, somewhat of a knowledge of all that. And I do wanted to mention here... Um, this are if you want more of a Bible study, this this book, Deliverance on Purpose, is um, it does the Bible uh, um, knowledge necessary to understand this manual. OK, yeah. so, All right. so so th this is not going to have, you know, an exhaustive. No, uh, Bible very reference. practical, very practical. It was um, originally intended for the deliverance and inner healing practitioner. Uh -huh. um, um, 
but it's we tweaked it some, Steve, so where people who do have some knowledge of the word um, can go through this manual and um, bring great deliverance and, and inner healing, um, uh, renewing the mind just by doing the prayers and following the system. Okay, so this is this is really good. So this is you, you've brought it all together. It's not only for you know, help yourself. Uh, right, it, it'll set you free. It'll help you recognize, identify some strongholds. It's got prayers there, but it's also a manual to create teens within ministries, churches, that type of stuff. That is correct. And, and Steve, if if I could, could I spend just a moment? Um, you know, we the word says that you know, let another praise you, so to speak. So uh, I would like to mention a few people that wrote endorsements, just a, a phrase. Dr. Che An in Pasadena, California. Dr. Ernie provides a biblically sound framework for deliverance ministry. His insights are practical, Christ-centered, and sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Um, Apostle Mario Bramnick, our local pastor, uh, this is a detailed and precise how-to manual for the deliverance ministry. Dr. Ernie takes the uncertainty and, and perplexity out of the deliverance process. Um, Dr. Rob Covell, who's the chief academic officer of Wagner University, uh, Dr. Ernie and Sylvia present the ministry of deliverance in a way that empowers the practitioner to be successful, understand the theology that supports deliverance, as well as imparting the essential tools. Uh, I wanted to mention Becca Greenwood. She wrote the foreword. Becca Greenwood is a true heavy hitter, as the others are. Uh, in, in the, she says, in the in the Freedom Manual, Deliverance and Inner Healing from Start to Finish, Dr. Ernie and Sylvia Sarve have mapped out a practical, strategic, and effective tool for all called to cast out demons and see captives set free. This manual is a must-have in the arsenal for every believer functioning in the kingdom call of deliverance ministry. So those are some of the things written about this manual. What I love is that it's practical. Yes. Very practical. And uh, I'll, I'll, let's go a step further. This is the manifestation of a prophetic word that Doris Wagner had given you, is it not? That is correct. That yes. is correct. She encouraged me to write a manual. She had um, our, our book, Deliverance on Purpose, very uh, familiar with that. Uh, and another um, uh, publication I used for a time called The Session. And so she she knew and she could see the future. She, you know, Doris Wagner and, and uh, Peter Wagner, they were very instrumental in in um, in advancing this ministry around the world. Um, and and, and uh, Doris is still Still at this point, she's still ministering to some people. She's very up in age, but um, it, it's it's really wonderful to have that type of legacy, um, you know, behind what we are doing. Absolutely, friends. Let me share my screen one more time, and uh, I really want you to click this link below. Uh, it's the Freedom Manual: Deliverance and Inner Healing from Start to Finish. Uh, I love practical stuff. Um, uh, this is what, in my opinion, right? I, I know this is not what you're saying, but in my opinion, this is what sets you apart from the other big inner healing ministries out there in, in that it's long, it's complicated. If I'm honest, uh, there's a very long, this is, it's like, put that like the very basics. It, it's quick. It's for yourself, but it's also, if you're a practitioner it's for your teams and I love that. And, and this is not a knock on any other ministry. Right. I love the practical, simple simplicity to this, uh, which is how you I think so, Jesus did it. You are so right, Steve, because we always say that this has a beginning and the end and it's just few short weeks. OK, it's not like counseling that you can be three years in counseling. We, you yeah. know, this is something that happened. At, right. We went to Colorado about three weeks ago and we had a meeting with this amazing counselor. And then she said, you know what? I I am frustrated because I help people and it looks like for six months they're doing well, but then they go back to where they, they started. And then we, we explained to her, okay, what happened is the root issue. You need to deal with the root issue and that's deliverance, that's inner healing. And then right there, she bought a whole bunch of manuals. She said, I'm incorporating this in my counseling session because I need to be effective. And I just realized that the only way to be effective is to deal with those root issues. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Amen. So friends, um, grab a whole bunch of these. If you're in a church or you got a ministry, grab, grab a whole bunch for your team. Uh, it's in English so far, just English. Yes. yes, but Spanish is coming soon at the end of the year. Great. And by the way, if you go to daystream.org, you can contact them, invite them into your church, your ministry, ha have these guys come over. Uh, it's pretty entertaining uh, <laughs> and very informative. Yeah, and uh, Dr. Ernie's got this radio voice, as you can see. It's, um, it, it's not a problem. Uh, thank you so much for, for coming on. Everybody click that link below. I wish you guys the best. Uh, have a wonderful time in Jesus' name. God bless you guys. God bless you. Big Thank hugs you. and blessings.